Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Rise of Empires guys. So recently I started a new account to make Reign of Chaos related videos. And while I was working on my own castle, I realized that I have never done my top 5 tips type of video. Which is weird for me considering my channel is named Rise of Empires guys. So that is why today I'm gonna talk about my best tips for the Rise of Empires. My first tip is don't underestimate the value of monsters. I see lots and lots of people gathering all day and for a good reason gathering as a farmer is one of the fastest ways to get some resources but many people almost never kill any monsters. If it's not the reign of chaos season your troops should never be staying with full stamina. You should be constantly killing monsters and when they have only 10 stamina left then send them together and let them regain their stamina. If you think killing monsters are only for beginners, think again guys. Level 15 monster gives you around 100,000 resources and any high level player can kill 100 of these a day, which makes 10 million resources per day by just killing these guys. Now you tell me, why are your legions are still chilling in your castle with full stamina? My second tip is focus on zone commemoration along with the daily quest. This one is kind of obvious, you know, every player that you meet will tell you about the importance of zone commemoration. What I will tell you is actually daily quests are much much more important when you are under level 23. Many people do not realize that how much more you get from the daily quests when you are at that level. Both of them are really good and they also go hand to hand, you know, you, can do, you cannot really do one of them without the other one. But you should really be focusing on the early challenges until the, you are level 23. Before that, they really give you a lot more, a lot more rewards compared to the Clash of Province. And you know what gives you a lot more rewards? Switching to Huawei App Gallery, of course. With them extending the campaign until the 6th of June, there's no excuse not to. You can get back 15% of your money as the App Gallery points for any purchase made in Rise of Empires. Plus you can get 4 coupons if you spend over certain amount. Also anyone that downloads the game from App Gallery will have this amazing welcome gift package worth of 10 euros. And if you spend over 1000 euro per month you can join the VIP club to get 15% cashback. Regardless of any ongoing campaign, VIP users will always have 15% cashback. So if you spend over 1000 euro per month, please contact me from Discord for the VIP link. Just one thing because there are still some questions about it, a combination of payment using Huawei points together with the bank card is not eligible to enter the campaign. But you can join this campaign from anywhere in the world and with any android device or using your PC with an emulator program. Also you do not need to delete your game that you have on your phone right now if you wish to keep it. Set your country as Italy, Netherlands or Greece, go to the search bar and write Rise of Empires and install. It is that easy. App Gallery has a Discord group that you can join to keep updated with the promotions. From time to time there are Huawei point giveaways in the Discord group. One Huawei point is equal to one euro so don't miss out. Download the App Gallery from the link below. Don't forget to bind your account to IM30 or Facebook before you switch to App Gallery. Set your country to Italy, Netherlands or Greece. Go to the promotion and click Rise of Empires. After that you can launch the game and buy any package. Before the purchase we have 0.46 euros worth of Huawei points. This package should give us 1.5 Huawei points after our purchase. Continue and accept the terms and conditions of the campaign. And now you are ready to claim your rewards. My third tip is focus on one legion at a time. Until you get 3 heroes with level 50 with fully unlocked skills and the best gear that you can get, don't invest anything into other legions guys. This includes the research, equipment, heroes, training ground buildings, you know everything. Only exception is being the gathering resource for all of the legions, other than this don't touch them at all. You only need one strong legion in this game, keep the other legions minimal. Just enough to be able to gather with them, you know, you can use your main legion to, for fighting and you can use other legions for gathering and for taking tiles in the reign of chaos. You can gather with the tier 1 troops, you can take tiles with tier 1 troops, it doesn't really matter if they're strong or not. My fourth tip is save your super tickets until seasonal hero recruitment starts. 
Using super tickets in any regular week is basically wasting them. Save as many tickets as you can and use them in bulk at the Reign of Chaos Seasonal Recruitment. I have a couple of videos of me opening 100 tickets at once and getting some seasonal heroes. If you are interested, take a look at it. Other than this, don't really worry about the default heroes. You get one super ticket per day for free, so you can use it and eventually you will get lucky and you will get default heroes. Don't really sweat it, you know, like if you get them, you get them. You don't really need them. Don't worry about it. Just keep playing. And my fifth tip is talk with a lot of people, guys. This game is more of a social game than it's a fighting game. You need tons of relations with basically everyone. Say hi to your state members whenever you log in. Say hi to your opposing state in the killing event whenever you go there. Chat with people and try to make friendships. You can either team up with them later on when the event starts or you could at least avoid being their enemies and that's really really important in this game. If you have no friends, everyone will see you as an easy prey. So these are my top 5 tips for you guys. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Don't forget to leave a like. Have a good day y'all. Bye bye.